All right, hello and welcome. We're going to do a quick tutorial, um, quick being relative always, on making sure that our textures come into Unity properly. So this will be a follow-up to a uh, tutorial we did on, on getting our stuff exported from Blender. Um, here's an example of a model from Blender with textures. And as you can see, we click on that FBX, um, we open up this 3D viewer in, in Windows, and the textures come through fine. Uh, but that's not always the case when we go into Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this this book here, this spell book, or whatever we're looking at here, um, into this scene, and we're going to see if it gives us the error that we're expecting, and then uh, we're going to look at a quick way to fix it. So I'm going to minimize that. Um, I've got a just a quick scene here of a little bit of a dungeon. This is from a Unity prototype um, pack, and I'm going to find my FBX. I've got a couple of them here, so I'm just going to drag them into my models folder to import them. And we're going to look at two different ones. Alright, so I've got this uh, spell book for painting here that I had created and, and put different channels on, and they've just got colors. Um, and for whatever reason, colors from Blender tend to come in fine. So when I just colored all the different channels um, for some stuff I was going to do in um, Substance Painter, that came through fine and looks great. It's a little big. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and set that book over here. We'll leave it as a really, really huge book. And here's the one that we expect to see textures on that apparently I didn't scale down either. So that is massive. Um, so that will lead us to one more thing that we can look at in this um, import settings for our model. So we've got this FBX. Looks like we have some transparency issues. We've got some scaling issues. So with my FBX selected, um, it's here in the hierarchy or, or here even in the um, project window. Um, well, from the project window, it seems to go straight to, to where we want to go. But from the hierarchy window here, if I've got my spell book, I just clicked on uh, select and it goes over here. So here's our import settings. Um, our model, um, rig, animation, and materials. First thing I want to look at, um, not the focus of this video, but it's bothering me. So I'm going to go ahead and, and pull the scale factor down and hit apply and see what that does. And now it's a much smaller book that I can't seem to select. Um, lost it. There we go. Set that guy back down on the table and let's frame in on him. So he's there. See our semi-transparency thing is is wreaking havoc with our lighting solution, but it's better size now. All right, so back to my spell book, um, select to look at the import settings, and here's really the meat of what we want. So materials, uh, by default, things coming in, we'll use embedded materials, um, and they're really expecting those things to be named and, and, and uh, put in just so. So here's what I, I do um, to fix that. So here's, I'm gonna go to external materials, uh, legacy, and then for the naming, I'm just going to say, just take from the models material. So external, um, legacy, and models material. And if I hit apply, then it figures out what that material is. And you can see our texture coming through. Um, not sure why that is weird looking, um, but we're going to go ahead we'll fix that as well. So here's my spell book. Textures are here. Um, before this would have been grayed out and I couldn't I couldn't mess with any of these settings here um, now I can now it's found the texture and I can um, play with the material that's on it and if I just change this to an opaque um, rendering mode instead of transparent then we see we've got our texture and it might just be the texture Looks like we might have come in with some normal data, but no, it doesn't look like it. There's no normal map here. So this is just the uh, just the color UV unwrap of this book, um, and that's that's how we unlock that uh, if it comes in grayed out. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep playing with this other book over here. I'm just going to swap places. So that's that's the meat of what we wanted to do. I'm just going to swap these books and look at 
applying some textures to this uh, while we've got it here. So got the same problem here or colors came through right so I've got our spine metal color um, but I can't change anything here if I just if I click on any of the material properties for this it just kind of does nothing so even though my colors came through the way I expected them to um, I can't do anything with the material so I'm gonna do the same thing with this I'm gonna hit select and use the external legacy and from the models material um, the search um, can look in crawl through the project or through the materials folder uh, recursive up is fine because with the way we'd set these FBXs to export from Blender the materials are part of the FBX package and so that's a good search so we'll hit apply it didn't change any the colors are still there but now you can see I can change my materials change the shader type the rendering mode um, and I just so happen to have imported a bunch of textures that I had um, created for this book in Substance Painter and I'm just going to map those up really quick just because I want to see what it looks like. So the albedo is going to be the main color. Yeah, Pull that scaler down so I can see. So for the gem material, hide material, we've got everything we need there. So we've got hide, material base color, I'm just going to start dragging these into where we want them. So the base color here is for the albedo. Um, the height is going to go where the height map needs to go. And we can play with that height later. There's the metallic. The normal map. Um, for whatever reason, it's not marked as a normal map by Unity, so just click Fix Now and Unity will remember that that's a normal map. Um, and the roughness. So, looks like we're just in the standard mode and the roughness map isn't showing for me. That's fine could use it as a now we'll just leave it alone um, and then think for a number of these substance painter had wanted to export an emission map but I didn't have any missive stuff on there so that's fine so now we we can go in here and look and see that at least our uh, scaly part of the cover is is now looking really cool and so we've got the hide part done uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish these up so for the gem material, I'm going to go through the same process and just start dragging these guys in. Albedo, height, metallic, and the normal. Pages. grab the wrong one. The page is normal. And that's that cool look of the pages. Oh, I do want to fix that. Forgot to mark these other ones. So mark the normal maps as soon as they start complaining and we'll do the trim. spine
and finally the channel that I had marked for metal binding. I might want to do some things with the height. Looks like some things came in pretty dark, but you can see the material here. Um, using all those maps looks pretty good. And we could not have changed that if we hadn't have gone over to our import settings um, and kind of unlock those materials. So whether you need to unlock the materials to add your own textures and materials um, or make settings inside Unity, or you just need to see the texture that you know you packed into your with your FBX, um, that's how you do it. So you go to the import settings by hitting select in the inspector.